Yeah, y'all, what's up, man? It's your man, Voice. And, you know, I'm always keeping it in good with the doctors, so I thought I'd have my man, Dr. Don Carson, join me today. Dr. Carson, how you doing? The better for being with you, Kurt. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. We can ready to jump into this Westminster Catechism song, but I thought first it would be good, man, if you explain the importance of the Westminster Catechism. Why is it it should be a big deal today? Well, the Westminster Catechism is a series of questions and answers about basic Christian doctrine. It's, it's, behind it is the Westminster Confession, which is the most comprehensive Christian confession in the history of the Church. And um, it is full of wonderful insight and summary of God's truth. And the Catechism mm -hmm. itself is simply a series of questions and answers that can be learned by children or adults to teach them basic Christian doctrine. Amen. Having said that, I'm going in. You ready, Doc? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Reformation chivalry, Westminster Catechism teaching on divinity, dealing with the Trinity. The Westminster Long is a monster, so today we dealing with this enemy. 1647, let's go back and visit thee. Here it was completed to edify the community. Believers live in unity, part of its purpose to train lay persons in matters of what was worth it. Doctrine and belief, belief in the doctrine. We own our sin, we not looking for Johnny Cock friends. Uh, now we don't idolize what idol eyes. We know the scripture is where the Lord has epitomized the Father. So why bother with the catechisms? Because they simplify for you and I. I'm glad they did them. We got a vision of a comprehensive document, one of the most important in the church, and it's opulent. Uh, they didn't know I know that word. We gonna get into the Q and A next verse. 107 questions. We won't do all of them. You probably think it's why I'm rocking with Dr. Carson. Do you know what the chief and the man is, and how the Father, Son, and Spirit do manage Do you know if you want you could know this The Catechism, hey, the Catechism, hey Do you know what the chief and the man is And how the Father, Son, and Spirit do manage Do you know if you want you could know this Dr. Carson, you still with me? Hey. I'm with catechism, you, Kurt, let's hey. work uh, now let's get into some questions, 107 of them broken down into sections The first 12 of them is God as creator, the manner of his decrees and Trinitarian nature 13 through 20 is dealing with humanity, our sin and its cause, we should all be God's enemy 21 through 38 is getting real meaning, the nature of Christ, his office and how he redeemed we All of these are solid, but personal homage is paid, I've been affected by 27 and 28 Christ's humiliation, his exaltation, 4-4 of God Galatians, Psalm 1, telling Satan, 39 through 84, filling out commandments, 85 through 97, dealing with the sacraments, 98 through 107, what you will find there, is some good instruction on the Lord's Prayer, yeah, now I ain't saying it's the best, right, I know it ain't the scriptures, but we riding with the west side, question 3, what the scriptures principally teach, concerning God and his duties for those who believe, sweet, 92, what is a sacrament, a holy order nested by Christ, what instituted as a means of grace, man, get that catechism out, why you bobbing your head, go read what I am talking about. Do you know what the chief and the man is, and how the Father, Son, and Spirit do manage? Do you know if you want you could know this? The catechism, hey, the catechism, hey. Do you know what the chief and the man is, and how the Father, Son, and Spirit do manage? Do you know if you want you could know this? The catechism, hey. The catechism, hey! How would you exhort people to really use the catechism today to train their children? Well, the most important thing that uh, parents can do is, is to have family devotions, family times, that first of all, use the Bible, read the Bible. That's, that's more foundational yet. But within that framework, then using a catechism is one of the ways to teach basic Christian doctrine. There are other ways, of course, bound up with Sunday school, and Bible studies, and family devotions, and so on. But one way that many Christians do use is to have some sort of catechetical, some sort of catechism, um, Q&A system to help people come up with things that can be memorized. And if they're memorized when the kids are young, they, 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 those answers stick with them uh, their whole life.
Brother Carson, thank you for being a part of the Westminster Catechism, man. You know what? It just occurred to me, being that I'm from the streets and with my background, you are actually the first DA that I like that I've met, man. <laughs> Does that mean you've met quite a few of them? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> Don Carson is in the building. Kurt Voice Allen is in the building. Westminster Catechism. <laughs> That's a wrap. West Side. <laughs>